Hi, everybody. Um, so I'm sure so, some of you heard my testimony back in July where I said that God delivered me from suicide. Um, the anniversary of my mum's death came around last year, October. I believe it was the anniversary of her death was the 17th. So, and her birthday is the 18th. So between the 17th and the 18th of October last year, and I just burst into tears. I couldn't cope. I said, Lord, you've taken all my family. What do you want me to do? So I went home and even though I was raised a Christian and I know suicide is wrong, I just felt like I have nothing left. My career is under sabotage. I've lost my family. I can't do this. And I'm quite respected in the UK as well. I've got quite a sort of medium-sized public profile so I was very embarrassed to have to be facing all of this stuff so I went home one day and long story short I took these tablets now these tablets are so strong that only 10 of them can kill you and I took 61 tablets 61 and I went on social media and I'm extremely popular on social media I posted a suicide note I said goodbye to everybody and that was it but I was gone for three days three whole days and then when I got home, I was at home and I was just like off work, sick and everything. And then I watched the TV and the Lord said to me on live stream, the Lord said, Miriam, go back and listen to the live stream from the day that you tried to take that overdose. I thought, why would I go all the way back to October, right? And when I went back, Pastor Jerry said, I don't know why I have to do this. He's like, and normally he says that, but that was the first time I had heard him say it. But also he didn't just say it. He was like, you, you, you at home. He's like, grave digger, fire, grave digger, fire. I don't know why God is saying, close that grave. Close that grave. Close that grave. Close that grave. And this video is turned the fire. And this video is turned the fire. You better make this prayer say today. Say today. Any open grave waiting for me. Whether today or tomorrow or next tomorrow. I say no. I knew this month was going to be quite difficult for me. So I chose to come back to Abuja just to actually be right here um, where the fire actually is. And... Um, the anniversary of when I tried to kill myself was the 18th of October last year. And on the 17th of October, I came to morning prayers and Pastor Jerry said, I don't know why God is telling me, cover that empty grave, cover that open grave, any open grave around me or my family, any arrow locate your center. Obituary fire. When the creed that obituary has been reversed, open graves are covered. You will not die. You will not bury. He said, I raised. Tell, tell us to say, I raise the destiny of my children to you. I rededicate my children. I rededicate their lives to you. Whatever came against them, planted in them, any wickedness, powers that said I will bury my children, their light will be redirected. And then he said, summon your children to the prayer altar. And then he said, any rearrangement in their destiny, all doors that transferred your battle to your children, let them be broken. And then he said, premature death, let them go. Somebody say, my father, my father, I raise the destinies of my children unto you. I rededicate their life unto your powers. I said, I will bury my children. Fire, fire, fire. We summon your children right here now on the altar. Any rearrangement in their destiny, all those that transferred their battles against you to where your children are, let our children go. Premature death, let our children go. While I was out here, I got a call, and my daughter was in the car, and her friend was driving, and she went to go to the fuel station. And her friend went to pay and my daughter stayed in the car and then the car caught fire. <laughs> and my daughter said she doesn't know why, but something told her to get out of the car. And then the car blew up once she got out of it.
And the next day she messaged me and she said, Mommy, I said to her, Pastor Jenny told us to pray for you. I said, I prayed for you yesterday. I was on my knees praying for you. She said, Mommy, I'm back on the prayer altar. She said, I'm back praying. She had stopped believing in God. She had stopped going to church and she messaged and said, Mommy, I'm back. I'm back. I'm praying. I'm back. So what God cannot do does not exist. <laughs>